Hi there, my name's Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now, as I just said, the, uh, the name that I've given this channel is Gary Explains because I love to explain tech. I've chosen video as my format to do that and I hope people find it useful. Often though, next to the videos, I have to create guides because some of the steps I'm going through, it's useful if people have a written reference. Now today I want to talk about a way of creating guides really, really easily inside of your web browser. In fact, it's such an easy way is that you just do the steps and then the software just records those steps and produces a document for you actually laying out all the things that you just did. It, it's a bit mind-blowing when you first think about it. You do it and it auto creates a document. So the software is called Scribe and here is a gallery of some community created guides uh, covering all kinds of things. Here, look at this, how to lock a column in Google Sheets. When you click on it, this is what a scribe looks like. It's basically a set of steps, including a screenshot that tells you how you achieve the objective that the guide is describing. We can go back here, how to delete a pull request in GitHub. If you're a developer, having this kind of information in an easy to use guide is essential. In fact, you can use Scribe for all kinds of things, including hiring, onboarding, training. You can even create eBooks with it. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Now, Scribe is an extension that lives in your web browser. There's also a desktop version if you sign up to the Pro package. And today we're going to be looking at how you sign up for it, how you use it, go through a demonstration of actually creating a document and just to see how easy it is. Before we get cracking, I would like to just thank Scribe for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing to do is go over to the Scribe website. That's scribehow.com. And over there, of course, now we're going to create an account and we're going to download the a web browser extension. So let's go over here to get Scribe for free. And it asks we do this for work personal. I'm gonna say personal, just me, not a team. And uh, just for fun, that's what we're doing now. And now we need to create an account. So I'm gonna type in an email address here and generate a strong password and then gonna sign up. Okay, so it's told me it sent me an email to check my email address. So I'm just gonna wait for that to come and then click on the link. Okay, so I clicked on the link, so my address has been confirmed. What is my name? I am Gary. That's who I am. And uh, yeah, Gary's team, that sounds good, even though there's only gonna be me in it. Now, this is the important thing. Now we need to go and get the web extension. So let's go and get that. This takes me to the Chrome Web Store. Yes, please add to Chrome. Yes, I'd like to do that, no problem. Right, so as you can see up here in the top right hand corner, I now have the Scribe extension added in, and this is my Scribe workspace. Of course, the first thing to do is to record a scribe. So what we're gonna do is uh, create a scribe that demonstrates how you turn on automated office replies. For example, when you go on vacation, that means you need to go into the settings and do some things. And having a guide to do that is really useful. So let's do that now. Okay, so here I am inside of Gmail and I'm going to create a scribe that shows how you turn on automated replies. So the first thing we do is we go up to the scribe plugin here and then we click start recording you are now recording your browser. So this is it, we are now creating our scribe. So let's just go through the steps. How you do that is you go up over here to settings and you click see all settings and then you scroll right down here to the bottom where we have the chance to turn on out of office reply. So we can turn it on and we can say that we're gonna be away from, I don't know, the 20th of April until uh, the 25th of June. June, and we can put in the title here something like uh, Gary is on vacation until the 25th of June, and then we can put in our nice little text here. I've pre prepared one to show you how this kind of works. Hello, thank you for your email. I'm currently out of the office and will return on the 25th of June. I will have limited access to email during this time, but I'll do my best to respond, blah, blah, blah. Gives an alternative contact if you wanted to contact somebody. Otherwise, I will uh, respond to your email upon return. There we go. And what we do is we just hit uh, save changes. Okay, and that's it. That takes you back to the inbox and that's it. Your automated uh, out of office reply is done. Now, we go over here back up to the scribe button and we say stop recording. And this is now where the magic of scribe comes in. 
So congratulations, there you go. So how to set up an out of office message in, in Gmail. It's given me that as the title, it worked that out automatically. And so now what we do is here, if you can see, it's given me all the steps, we'll go through these in a minute, that you have to do to actually do this. So the first thing is navigate to mail. That's fine like that. Click on this icon. We can change this to say click on the gear icon, which is what you're doing there. Okay, uh, click see all settings, that's correct. That's actually done that for us. And that's what we did there, if you remember. And then we scroll down. So maybe we'll put down here first, uh, scroll down and then click on the out of office auto reply on field, which is what we had to do. Uh, double click the first date field. Yep, okay, we did that. And uh, then we can put in here, set the start date. Okay, and then I think this next one where you're clicking on the actual thing in the calendar there, well, I think that can all be incorporated here into set the start date. So what we do is we'll delete uh, delete this step. We don't need that. So do we want to delete it? Yes, you can all do all this with inscribe. It's brilliant, see? Set the last day field. Good, click on last day field. Uh, and then we can, uh, and set, and, and then we'll put in here, uh, set last day date. Okay, maybe I'm thinking about that differently. Uh, again, we can delete this next step. You don't want to actually go through all the all the stuff of um, you know picking in a month. Obviously, in a real person's guide, this would be a you know different month altogether. So we don't need to click this stuff. That's all covered in that first bit there. Set the last day date. Right, click the subject field, which is what you need to do. Uh, I have then got Control V, so we're not going to do that. We, that's not necessary. Okay, and then uh, click out of office auto reply. So if I think we click um, message body, and then we'll change this to. Uh, is there another one? Yes, we will we'll put in. Uh, type in your reply. Okay. And then because I was doing it with control C and control V, we'll get rid of the, the control C and control V one. And then finally save changes. So that's it. So if we go through these steps now, it shows us exactly what we can do to uh, to make this uh, or this describe describing how you set an out of message uh, in Gmail. Now, let's uh, just finish that. So you do done editing up there like that. Now, once you've got this whole message here, look at this. Here it is or with the screenshots and all the text that we've done, what well, it took us just a few minutes to, to type in the text or that we want, personalize that text, you can do share. Now, one way is you can share via email. You can send it to people typing an email address. Another way is you can embed it inside, for example, a blog post, and it gives you the uh, the HTML code that you need to include it, let's say, inside of a WordPress uh, blog post, or you can export it. Now, I'm going to export it as PDF, but before we do that, do note that there are other formats that you can export to if you, use the, uh, if you have a pro account. So we can click Export as PDF. Okay, generating your PDF. This may take a few moments. There we go. And now your PDF is ready. Take a look. So we hit view PDF and there is. So now all those steps that we've got here are now actually in a nice uh, PDF file. So of course the potential here is absolutely enormous. Guides like this for helping people in the workplace for setting out, for example, their holiday replies. There's onboarding. There's anything to do with, you know, human resources. How do you book your vacation, you know, your vacation time off? You know, there must be a system that at whatever, wherever you work, how you do that. You can include that in this You could actually, you know, bring a lot of these tips together. You could actually create a, you know, get the best out of Gmail ebook, and you could add, you kind of like add all of these PDF files together uh, as an ebook. I mean, the potential is absolutely enormous. Now, back here in our scribe, another good thing is that you could edit this again at any time. So if we hit edit here, OK, then uh, we can scroll down here. Let, let's do this. Let's just uh, bef after they've clicked uh, save, let's see what we can do is right down here. We're going to add an extra thing. Now we can add another step tip alert header. So let's just add a tip. And what we're going to put in here is uh, make sure you enjoy your time off there you go so if this was something we were using inside of you know a, a team at work to show people how to uh, to to turn on these automated replies when they go away well you know I want to be a bit friendly as well make sure you enjoy your time off you can add in loads of things so you can really customize these to build these guides up to however you want them to be 
Now, as I pointed out earlier, there is a pro version. If we click here, get Scribe Pro, we've been using the free one. There's a personal and a Teams one you can get. And one of the big, big things is that you also get the desktop recorder, which means you don't aren't limited just to recording things now inside of a web browser. You can record things on your desktop. And if we actually go back to editing uh, this one for, except for a second, which we were doing earlier, let's just click edit up here. For example, if you click on an image here, there are a whole bunch of different ways of adding in new images from the desktop recorder, from uh, other customizations, but you need to have the pro version. So that you get lots and lots of extra things if you want to, if you find this kind of the great way of creating documents, there's always more, there's an extra layer to make them even more professional. Okay, so there you have it, Scribe, it's free to use. So that's really, really good. Whatever you're into, whether it's, you know, model trains or ants or scuba diving, family history, music, fashion, whatever it is you're into, this can be a really great way of adding value to what the stuff that you create. So my name's Gary Sims, this is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.